In this video, it's going to be short. We're going to create a basic uh, material for our character. First, let's uh, go to the content browser and I'm just going to dock this. And I'm going to reduce, let's see, click settings and just reduce the size. That's a little too small, but I'll work with it. Okay, so um, right click the content browser and click material. And let's name this M underscore material. Now right click this material and click material instance and name this you can name it whatever you want but I'm going to name it MI um, color now the material instance um, it just allows you it's just faster it's just a, a copy of the main material of the parent material and it just moves it just um, you can just edit settings um, the parameters that come from the main material you can just make changes to those real quick so it's just good practice to after you make a material um, to actually utilize um, a instance of that material but now let's go back to the main material and let's set that up let's grab this and dock this Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this circle right here and click promote to parameter. And I'm going to do that for the metallic, specular, and roughness. You can also do it for emissive, but we don't really need it for this. Um, tutorial let's create another one I'm gonna hold L on the keyboard and click and that's gonna give me a LARP and the LARP is just basically it's it's basically like a mixed material it's gonna mix A and B by this alpha so if this alpha is 50% or if you put 0.1 or if you put gray it's going to be let's say a is let's say a is red and b is blue it's going to be purple so the larp is just a uh, it's just a mix so let's plug the base color into a and plug the larp into the base color Now right click the grid and type in, I believe it's power, okay. And this is just gonna multiply. You can keep that at two, I'm just, just try four. But you can keep that at two. Plug the base color into the base and drag it over to B. Again, these are just, it's just gonna mix these values based on this alpha. Uh, now finally let's add a Fresnel. So right click and type in Fresnel. And add that to the alpha. And the Fresnel is just going to make the long story short it's just going to make the edges um, darker or more refle more reflective and I believe that's pretty much it save this so that's the main material let's go into the material instance the copy of it and here we're going to actually make the changes so for um, 
let's click roughness and specular and you can change this to whatever you want I'm going to use 0.25 for the specular and 0.2 for the roughness and click the base color and click this black and I'm just going to choose a color Click OK. I think I want to have this a little more rough. And I think that's pretty much it. Let me just add a little bit more roughness to that. Save this. And I think that's pretty much it for this uh, material. We're going to use this. Let's, you know what? Let's go ahead and apply this to our. Um, mesh and he should be updating that should up uh, there you go you know what I'm not really liking I let me just make a few more changes again you don't have to do this let's make this more glossy And I think that's good. So that's pretty much it for this video. In this video, we created a material, a master material, and created an instance and modified and made changes to that material instance. Um, if, you if you guys like this video and you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button, uh, leave your comments below, and check out the other videos.